In this video, we are going to go through a CFA level one style question based on the capital budgeting or uses of capital reading within the corporate issuers topic area. We are going to compute the NPV and the um, IRR, so net present value and internal rate of return of a simple project. But I really want to use this question as an excuse to practice using the Texas Instruments BA2 plus calculator. In particular, the cash flow worksheet and the NPV and IRR functions. I highly recommend that you practice using these as they are a true time saver. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. Middleton Enterprises is considering a 7,000 euro investment into property, plant and equipment, which is expected to generate cash inflows of 3,000, 3,500 and 4,000 euro at the end of each of the next three years respectively. If the relevant opportunity cost of capital is 12%, the net present value NPV and internal rate of return IRR of the proposed investment are closest to and what follows are three combinations of NPV and IRR results. Okay, let me start by stating that we could compute the NPV of this project by taking the cash flows outlined in the scenario and discounting each one over the relevant period. And if you've got your calculator set up to function under AOS, that's Algebraic Operating System Mode, this comes down to a single, albeit pretty long, computation. Let me write it out over here. A negative 7,000 plus 3,000 divided by 1.12 plus 3,500 divided by 1.12 squared plus, finally, 4,000 divided by 1.12 to the power of 3. Let's see if we can quickly do this on the calculator. 7,000 followed by the plus minus sign to make it negative plus 3,000 divided by 1.12 plus 3,500 divided by 1.12 squared and 4,000 divided by 1.12 to the power of 3. And I can see the result coming in at, well, roughly 1,300 16. Which, if we inspect the possible solutions to this problem, suggests answer C. Now, let me stress that the reason I was able to perform this computation without having to note down any intermediate results is that I have set my calculator up in a way which allows this. If you want to follow the same setup, please watch my dedicated calculator setup video. You'll find the link in the description below. Anyway, solving NPV problems this way is kind of okay. However, it is very prone to input errors. Once you've keyed in a number, it's impossible to go back and check what you've already done. And anyway, using this approach does not allow you to compute IRR. So let's try the other method, that is using the cash flow worksheet on your calculator. This may take just a few seconds longer, but it gives you a lot more control over what you are doing. You access the worksheet by pressing the CF key, which is sitting right next to the second key. Now, before we go any further, let's make sure to clear the worksheet by pressing second, followed by the CE stroke C key in the bottom um, left-hand corner of your calculator keys, uh, you can see that it has CLR work written on it, uh, which stands for clear worksheet, and that's its secondary function. The calculator now is displaying CFO0 equal to 7,000. We obviously want to change this to a negative 7,000 as this is the initial cash 
outlay at the start of the project. So type in 7,000, followed by the plus minus key. Let me also do this. And uh, obviously the plus minus is there to make uh, the figure negative and press very critically the enter key to confirm your input. Let me also write this down. And now you want to press the down arrow so as to move on to the next input. Uh, that's the cash flow at time one. We want to make this a positive 3000. So let's type 3000. No need to do plus minus this time. Just follow it up with enter. And let me do this as well on my calculator. So 3000, enter. Okay, we want to press the down arrow again, but if you do this just once, like I've done um, thus far, you will see F01. Now, this allows you to tell the calculator how many times in a row that first cash flow occurs. By default, it is set at one, which is perfect for us because that 3,000 euro uh, cash flow occurs just once. So press the down arrow again, for the second time over here. And we now get to uh, the place where we input the cash flow at time two. We want to make this three and a half thousand. So three and a half thousand, obviously followed by enter again. Three and a half thousand, enter. Okay, down arrow twice now, and we get to the place where we enter the C03 cash flow, and that's going to be uh, 4,000, which you'll once again need to confirm with the enter key. So 4,000 and enter. Now, the nice thing about the cash flow worksheet is that you can use the up and down arrows to um, scroll up and down through your inputs. So you can see my C02 input, my C01 input, or perhaps even my CF0 input over here. And you can obviously use this functionality to check that they are correct. If you want to change any of them, just go to the relevant place and overwrite the previous entry and hit enter. It's as simple as that. Now, the cash flow worksheet does not perform any computations as such. It's a place that is meant strictly for storing cash flow data. Let's now press the NPV key, which is right next door to CF. Now, if you do this, you should see that your calculator is immediately asking for I. That's the rate we're going to use for discounting. The rate is naturally over here, 12%. Um, so type in 12 followed by, well, you guessed it, the enter key. And let me do this as well. 12, enter. And you should now move down using the down arrow, of course. And note that the term NPV is displayed. The calculator should also be telling you that it is ready to compute by displaying the uh, word compute somewhere at the top of the display, which is nudging you to press the CPT key. And if you do this, if you press CPT, which stands for compute, you're going to see an NPV of roughly 1316, which confirms our previous result. The question also asks for the internal rate of return or IRR. And you probably know that this is the discount rate, which makes the project NPV equal zero. So far, we only know that it is not 12%. When we used 12% to perform the discounting of these cash flows just a moment ago, we got an NPV which was positive. This is, of course, uh, implying that the IRR we are looking for is higher than 12%. And really, there is no easy way to find this value other than by using a spreadsheet or, of course, your calculator, which has an IRR function 
built in. So please locate the IRR key, which is right next to the NPV key and press it now. And when you do, you see that it is ready to compute. So simply, once you've pressed IRR, follow this up with the uh, compute key. And if we do this, let's have a go we will see the display showing us a result of 22.12%. Implying that this is the IRR of the cash flows, these ones, which are also stored uh, in the cash flow worksheet. If we now check the answers, we can see that the correct NPV and IRR combination is indeed given by C, just one thing to bear in mind, as with the other worksheet in this calculator, the inputs which we have made for CF0, CL1 and so on will remain stored until you explicitly clear them. So please get into the habit of clearing the CF worksheet each time you begin to use it.